pain in the top of your foot is very common for runners. This can range from a mild nuisance to a massive impairment. I want to go through how you can figure out if that's a stress fracture and what bones we should be the most concerned about. There's not much in the top of your foot aside from bones, a few tendons, and some skin. So pain in this area can be concerning because there's a high likelihood that it's the bone that's involved. If simple tweaks like not tying your shoes as tight or wearing a wider shoe don't give you relief, we probably need to do a little bit more investigating. Bone stress injuries, stress fractures, and stress reactions are more often aggravated by being on our feet, running at faster paces, and running up hills. They also tend to feel better when we get off of our feet. Now you can fracture any of the bones in your foot, but there are a few that we need to be more concerned about. We categorize these as high risk stress fractures because there's a higher likelihood they won't heal on their own. They don't have as good of blood supply and we might need some kind of a surgical intervention. The first bone is your navicular. Your navicular bone sits between your cuneiforms and your talus and often gets squeezed together as our foot hits the ground. Because of its unique biomechanics and the fact that there's spots that don't have as good blood supply, there's a high likelihood that if you have pain in this area and there's a stress fracture, you'll need a surgery to get back to 100%. Runners will often report deep pain localized to the end region that gets worse with the things that I mentioned before. The second one is our fifth metatarsal. This is a common injury in cutting sports but can be seen in runners as well. Pain on the outside of our foot that's worse with weight bearing is concerning. The third spot is the base of our second metatarsal. Now our metatarsals are those tiny bones that you can feel on each one of your toes. If we have pain at the base of the second, it's concerning. And lastly, we're going to examine our sesamoids on the bottom of our big toe. These two bones assist the tendon going to our big toe and its job in running. It's super important. Pain along the bottom of your big toe should always be investigated because of the potential for a sesamoid bone stress injury. If you're having pain in any of these areas, take it seriously. Get it investigated. You want to get back to 100%. And if you want to learn more about the diagnosis and management of bone stress injuries, I'd love it if you joined Chris Johnson and my Bones, Tendons, Weights, and Whistles course online that we'll be hosting in a few weeks. We go into a deep dive on bone stress injuries and all things around managing running related injuries. To learn more and sign up, make sure to visit the link in the description. Thanks for watching.